Oh. Listen up. The patient's gone into shock. There's no doubt the drugs in his stomach are seeping out. We have no idea what condition he'll be in, so be careful. Understood. Beginning the operation. Before I actually begin, I love this pre-op theme right here. It starts out really urgent sounding, and then if you wait a little bit, which I will do. Huh, he's over five feet. I don't know why that's important. It, if you wait a little bit, it goes into the classic pre-op theme from the other Trauma Center games. I actually think this is the best version of it, so, yet. Mm -hmm. I, I, this was just, I love this theme. I just want to let it go loop first before I start the operation. Okay. Now we go inside Theodore Gacy. Okay. Let's begin the operation. Chief, please support me throughout this procedure. Got it. The patient swallowed a lot of toxins. If he starts going into shock, it'll be fatal. Once we found the substances, we will use the forceps to retrieve them. Is that correct? Regular forceps. Forceps. Not the hemostatic yes, ones. I believe in you. Do it. Yeah, yeah, endoscope settings. Press 1 to change them. I already did that the first time. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do is just stabilize him. So there's less room for error. Alright. Oh, more room. There are affected areas nearby. Let's treat them before moving on. Move up a little bit. We're okay. treating around here. Let's move on to the next area. Okay, I think we found some drugs. Retrieval target found. Use the forceps to pull it out. I'll attach them to the endoscope. I don't even want to know how this work how an endoscope works. Okay, so yeah, switch to the forceps, which are I think at the same place as they always are. Press Z. And you can let go as soon as you, you can let go as soon as it grabs it. It's too soon for them to have been absorbed by now. That means right. Unfortunately, they must have gotten separated since they were swallowed. <sighs> if the drugs he ingested get absorbed into his body, he'll go into shock. We have to search for them immediately and retrieve the ones that remain. Hey, it's not what. Oh, you have to hold A and B to to um turn it. Wait for charge! Whatever he swallowed has caused hemorrhaging. Let's treat that while we search. This isn't good. The inner walls see this will impede our ability to retrieve the foreign objects. So let's hemostasis complete. Let's move on. There we go. Looks like a Hershey's kiss, actually. It's still not enough. Keep looking. Hershey's kiss! For an object? Oh, I think it's we gotta use the syringe. The toxic substance. Tomoe, treat it. Yep, syringe. Up the line. Let's keep searching for what more. What else here? Aha! More Hershey's kisses. It's hemorrhaging. Let's perform hemostasis after draining the blood pool. Let's perform hemostasis first so we don't get more blood pools. Let's move on to the next. There's another affected area hidden nearby. Hey, Let's seek it out. I want. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, look, an ulcer, or whatever that is. The line. Another ulcer. Let's use the spray and look for it. Let's see. There's hemorrhaging. Okay, where's the last thing? Aha! We're not done yet. The vitals aren't stabilizing. Let's search. Closer. Good. Be careful how much medicine you inject into the ulcer. Okay, that was almost too much. We've searched the entire stomach, but the remaining drugs are nowhere to be found. If that's the case, they may have progressed into the small intestine. There isn't a moment to spare. All right. Let's proceed into the small intestine while treating the damage caused by these drugs. 
Okay, so if you don't know where to go, that arrow should point you in the direction you want to go. I unfortunately am still... Whoa, what is... Charge! We're through the pylorus and are moving into the small intestine. Peristaltic movement will occur, so we need to be careful not to... Oh, no. Peristaltic movement already? For those... If you want to know, peristaltic movement is basically wind that pushes you backwards. It's annoying! Especially here. I'm going to remove it. Let's get the loop around the polyp and excise it. I'll explain the loop in a second. Because... Like I was saying, peristaltic movement can push you back into a wall. And it once it happened to me that when I tried pushing forward, I kept crashing into a wall, so basically my patient just died right there because of peristaltic movement. Uh, let's grab that first. Okay, so you grab the snare, you press Z, you, you, you change its angle with the uh, nunchuck, like, move it left to... Turn it left and right. Then, when you got a good angle, try to get around that little circle. The polyp's been excised. Now use the forceps to once you excise it, just grab it with the forceps. Now we repeat. Let's get the snare around it and excise it. Oh, I have to actually. I can't actually move the forceps, unlike the drain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll point it there. There we go. In here? I hate moving around the intestines. This, this is severe. We should treat them all right now. Let's get the drugs first. I'll worry about the hemorrhaging later. Hey, hey, I want... Thank you! Now we do this. Now we do this. I need and to position the ring so that it can go around the affected area. There we go. Now we just grab it. It seems there are no more affected areas around here. Let's move on. And we go through here. Where is the peristaltic movement? I am not looking forward to that. Let's just drink. The inner walls the of the digestive tract are starting to be affected by the drugs. Treat the affected areas too. I was trying to, but you were talking. Okay. Four the foreign object. I'll begin retrieval. Good. This is the last one. Be careful with it. What's that thing right there? Oh, it's the gateway that tells you you're not supposed to go that way. There's a tumor under this foreign object? We have to do this. Stay sharp and treat it. I'll explain the gates when they actually become important. Meaning not here. Okay, so treat it, to treat a tumor, you have to inject the syringe medicine into it. Not the green stabilizer medicine, but the syringe medicine. Inject to the line as usual. Now to begin excision with the scalpel. Now, excise it with the scalpel. Make incisions along the guideline to excise the tumor. This is a little harder than normal scalpel excisions. Because you're you're not allowed to move the camera. The second step of excision is the third section of excision is complete. All that's left is to excise it with the You basically have to just excise it like you have to cut it cut around it like three times usually. And then you have to use the snare on it, which apparently doesn't want to work for me. Pull back, turn the camera. There we go. The tumor has been detached. Now to remove the focus. Excised area is hemorrhaging. You must perform hemostasis. Yeah, yeah, let me grab just let me get this thing out of the Fine, I'll drain it first. I can't even see the blood pool. The focus was successfully removed. The tumor treatment is complete. And of course, we gotta drain something if it's getting in the way of whatever we need to do. The blood's been drained. Perform hemostasis before you close up again. Okay. 
I think... Yeah, can't go this way now, so there should be more of this... Whoa! When was that there? When were those blood pools there? Seriously! Okay, endoscopy's done. For now. Okay, so we did pretty good. What's the rank? A. Well done! You did your best to Oh no, it's because of your support, Chief. Thank you very much. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I've still got it! Yeah. Extraction complete. All right. Do we have the antitoxin yet? Sometimes those post-op conversations where you see your rank just don't make sense Chief. in context. <gasps> What'd you do that for? The door, it's... I'm sorry. Here's the antitoxin. Is it ready? Oh, you galoot. Give it here. <laughs> Tomoe, administer this to the patient. Right away. Administering the antitoxin. Work. Work. Damn it. Breathe. Come on. He's alive! Alright. It worked. Sorry about that. I had to say that. I don't know why. He's breathing! And that is that. I am so glad. So, I was so late. All right. Now that that's done, our next mission would be right here, Blazing Darkness, from Doctor Cunningham, because and uh, diagnostics takes priority. This is one of the more amusing ones. It's also one of the more frustrating ones. 